because in Parliament, a lot of our things are still paper-based. You know, I think in order to have a smart nation, a digital nation, we have to start with our bureaucracy. I know Taiwan's often touted as Asian's beacon of democracy. Yes. But the reality is there are 10% of people who cannot vote. So if you are living overseas, you actually have to fly back to vote mm. during elections for one day. You actually have to physically go back to your own home district to stand in a school to vote by paper. Their election is done electronically. We have a stretch of 14 days. Kotar, 过去曾作为安倍内阁的经济幕僚之外呢，他也协助日本地方政府推动数位转型，具有丰富的实务经验。除了帮助日本大量的外籍劳工者找到适应的工作，同时也提升日本同学的英语能力 k o t a r o s a n 甚至办了五间国际学校。First of all, about digitalization of local government in Japan. So I'm giving training to the local government officials、uh, in actually Toyama Prefecture, that is a city in the middle of the main island.、Uh, the population is、uh, slightly less than one million. So I put. Purposefully、uh, choose the local cities to kickstart this digital transformation training、uh, from the nation、uh, that is one of the best advanced digital nation、uh, in the world, Singapore. Little change happens from the center. That is the best thing、mm-hmm. uh, we can ever get. But、uh, unfortunately, I don't know the situation in Taiwan, but in case of Japan, central government. Uh, it's、uh, made up of、uh, so many vested interest groups. So those entities try to stop the necessary、uh, reforms and changes. I'm very interested in digital transformation. I've put forward a digital health act, and in addition, for my current campaign, I'm interested in three initiatives to help. I'd like to focus on three initiatives to help Taiwan change. First one is international connectivity, and I believe that if Taiwan can increase our international connectivity, that would solve half of our problems. The second one is around digital transformation, and the next is around intergenerational justice, sort of to to create a more equitable world for our future generations to come. You know, whether it's housing or wages, and just creating more opportunities for the currently. Under forty age group, yeah. That's why Taiwan need you. <laughs> exactly. Because in Parliament, a lot of our things are still paper based, and you know, I think in order to have a smart nation, a digital nation, we have to start with our bureaucracy. So,、uh, first batch, we have started、uh, only with the government of shells of Taiwan、mm-hmm. Prefecture. Then,、uh, you know, second batch evolved. Into the mix of SMEs, local SMEs, and the local、mm-hmm. government officials. SME employees knows a lot about the commercialization and the business, and the government officials knows about regulation and rules. So it's、mm-hmm. a good combination. My other question really is around、um, foreign white collar labor. Could you、uh, talk a little bit about that? Because Taiwan always takes a page from Japan. Mm. What is Japan doing? But Taiwan also faces a shrinking population. Well, we have a very low birth rate. I think the next government will have to face up to an immigration policy. But next year, we're beginning to import some Indian high skilled workers for the very first time. So,、uh, labor shortage is killing Japan in many ways. We need the people from outside. So,、uh, social infrastructure. So, social infrastructure. It's dying because no more bus drivers, train drivers, or farmers or fishermen. But now、uh, the majority, I mean, around eighty percent of the all fishermen in Japan is Indonesian people from Indonesia. So、uh, easiest way to get the foreign talent is the high end skill workers、uh, because that, there's so not so many competitions with Japanese. Regular workers. So now we are,、uh, you know, as like Taiwan, we're inviting more、uh, data scientists from India. I'd love to discuss with you another topic on international schools. 
it's really interesting that you've now built five international schools that have mm-hmm. Indian and Japanese students studying English together. Japan is a shrinking and aging economy. Uh, there, there's a only market in kids' education which growing exponentially. It's an international school market. And especially Indian international school is a big hit. Japanese parents are understanding. So we need to uh, put them into early education, everything in English. 90% of our application uh, to our in, in Indian international school is from Japanese parents. Well, it's also Japan has a lot of investments in India yes. too. So yeah. um, that, uh, well, having Japanese, Japan and India's relation uh, grow stronger. Exactly. Would help as a counterweight to China. Yes. And actually, Japanese government love this idea. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, it's uh, very strategic. Not only mm-hmm. economic reasons, not only educational reasons, but also national security reasons. I know Taiwan's often touted as Asian's beacon of democracy. Yes. But the reality is there are 10% of people who cannot vote. So out of our 23 million people, there are 2 million people who cannot participate on election day. And our voting day is only one day. Mm. And that will be on uh, January 13th. Because um, right now in Taiwan, we have no absentee ballot. So if you are living overseas, you actually have to fly back to vote mm. during elections. And only also one if you, ah. for one day, you actually have to physically go back to your own home district to stand in a school to vote by paper. So all of that is still st- very old school. Yeah, because, you know, that's a, such an important election and everybody, uh, you know, has access to vote. But, and, uh, you know, in Japan uh, right now, uh, for example, the general election for lower house, uh, we have a stretch of 14 days. And uh, even uh, people like me stationed in foreign country, we can vote uh, in, in embassy, Japanese mm-hmm. embassy here. My husband, he's Belgian, and he tells me their elections is done electronically. And five minutes after the close of vote, voila, they have <laughs> the election results. <laughs> so he said there's no way you can fake the election because the votes counted practically instantaneously.